faucets leak because of leaky sink valves. And the same can happen to your heart. Your valves can start to leak due to congenital conditions, disease states, or just simple wear through aging. But the difference is you can die from degenerative heart valve disease. But fear not. Just as we've come up with replacements for sink valves, we've come up with replacements for heart valves. Over 300,000 heart valve replacements happen each year, driving a $1.25 billion industry. Now, most of the heart valves on market today, 80% of them are tissue valves. These valves are made out of animal tissues, often sourced from pig valves or the outer lining of cow hearts. Once these tissues are sourced, they're treated with a chemical called glutaraldehyde, which renders the implant implantable into the body so it's not rejected, and it stabilizes the material composite. But here comes the problem. These valves only last 10 to 15 years. So what you've essentially done is put an expiration date on your little brother or mother who just went through a heart valve replacement. So the question then becomes, how do we increase implant life to enjoy our loved ones longer? And that's where my research comes in. Defining the failure mechanisms of heart valves on currently commercially available, finding the underlying cause of these failure mechanisms and developing a new solution. And what we found is these tissue heart valves primarily fail due to one, structural degradation, and two, calcium deposits, as you can see right here. And the underlying cause of it is this industry-wide use of glutaraldehyde. Therefore, my advisor and I have developed and patented a new fabrication protocol that does not use glutaraldehyde, a new chemical cross-linking technique. We've done much mechanical testing as well as small animal testing to look at the functionality as well as how it reacts, this new novel biomaterial reacts in living organisms. We're transitioning to long-term fatigue testing cycles as well as higher animal order um, animal studies. And thus far, we've been successful in preventing calcification as well as structural degradation. And this has the potential to significantly increase implant life. But that's just the start. Our technology at, at the basis of it, fundamentals, is a platform technology. It has many applications in soft tissues. It can be used for better, longer lasting heart patches, ligament tendon repair, as well as mesh and hernial repair. The, the possibilities are really endless with this platform technology. Therefore, I've actually taken on the life of an entrepreneur, diligently writing business plans to seek investment as well as licensing deals to really take this technology from the bench to the bedside. Forget letting this technology live in some journal. I want this technology to enable people to live. Forget these high impactor factor papers. I want high impact social returns. Thank you.